Hello, creative minds. Welcome back. Kindly click the subscribe button, like, and share this video. Remember also to turn on the notification bell so you always stay notified. So here is the fabric I'm going to be using for that beautiful style that you have seen on the thumbnail of this video. Yes, that's a cape dress with a high neck collar. So the fabric we're using here is, uh, I don't know the name they call it, but it's more like a lycra fabric. It stretches to one side and it does not stretch to the other side and it is shiny on the surface. I'm tempted to call it metallic, I don't know, but it's a very beautiful fabric. So you should use a soft fabric when doing this. So right here I am using the measurement of uh, 11 inches for the width, then the length is about 63, 63 inches for this particular fabric that I have here. And I folded for my front and for my back. So I have two folds there. So I'm going to cut them out like I want. I want the front and the back separately. So I'm going to cut them out that way. So it measures 11 inches on the width. Okay. And the length is about 63 inches. So it depends on whatever your choice may be. So that would de uh, determine the length and the width that you want to work with. So this remaining fabric will be used for the collar later. So right here we have the fabric cut out. So we're going to stitch that point and stitching that point, I have it closed up on the length. So on the width, we're going to stitch one part you know we have the upper part and the lower part okay the upper part and the lower part so you're going to stitch the part you want to use for the lower part you can stitch that down for the both of them so after that this is what we have and i'm going to turn this in out but you can decide to stitch the other points that the point that is on fold if you want the seam to run on both sides but I didn't stick that place down because I, I, I felt it wasn't necessary so one uh, one side is on fold and the other side has the seam but I would still prefer you stitch it down because at the end of the day I I saw the difference but it's still okay it was still okay so turn this out we're going to take this on our ironing table so you want the seam all flattened out. So I want my seam to be flattened out. So I um, have to iron it using my steam that I sprayed um, water on it. So if you have a steam iron better. So you're going to iron all the way um, for the both of them, that's the front and the back. So coming back to our table, now the other part that was not stitched, okay, there's one part, we stitch one part down, that's for the lower part. Now the other part that's not stitched will be for the upper part, which is the neckline area. We're going to use it as our neckline area. So first you want to make sure you don't have unequal edges there. So mine is on equal, I have to trim it to be equal. So I place the two of them, that's the front and the back together before taking my measurements. So I'm taking a length 4 inches and width of 3 inches. So next thing is to create my curve. I created my curve for the neckline. That's the curve for the front. So for the back, I used the length of one and a half inches and created my curve also. So now I'm going to cut out this. So you're going to cut out the that of the back first. Okay. So cut out that of the back. 
then it uh, separates the fabric and cut out the one for the front so after this the next thing we want to do is to join the shoulder seam okay you can decide to add shoulder slant to yours if you prefer but i didn't add so for this just um sandwich the that of the front with that of the back okay so we'll have a seamless shoulder line so just for the way i showed you and so after sewing this is what we have we have a seamless um, shoulder line so i went ahead to increase my neck line okay i i discovered that the neckline is tight and it's too uh, may, may not be comfortable for my clients so i decided to increase this by one inch both for the front and for the back i increased them by one inch so that means i did a total of five inches for the front and two and a half inches for the back so that's the total we have right now okay so the next thing we're going to do now is to attach our collar so you're going to measure around your neckline and cut out the fabric exactly that amount and make sure the fabric stretches okay i have done the same and now i want to sew it to be seamless so this is the front right here okay and i folded it in two i've already notched the point where it should meet so i folded it in two like so then i flipped it over this way so literally i have the wrong side of the fabric folded in four that's what i have right here okay the wrong side of the fabric folded into four now make sure that that upper part is unfold then we're going to stitch this in a triangular manner okay to narrow out the upper part so you can see how i stitched it and I've trimmed off the excesses. Now we have a triangular shape collar. So now you're going to turn this out to the right side and you can see the shape it has right here. Okay. So this is our collar. This is our high neck collar. We're going to be using for the cape. So next thing you want to do is to notch the center points though this is not necessary this might not be um, um compulsory to do so i mark the center point there and i also mark the center for the front and the center for the back side so as long as you measure correctly the neckline should fit perfectly to the collar okay it should fit perfectly so the next thing now is to attach our collar to the dress and to do that you're going to place it right side facing the right side like so and so all around so as you're done sewing you're going to use your weaving machine to make that point neat okay i don't have the clip of that i although i'll show you the outcome later but right here you can see i'm attaching my applique to the cape dress and you can use whatever applique that you feel like using and right here i'm using uh, a stone this is a big stone with a shiny face kind of yeah and i use it for all the cape dresses that i made i made about four of them for uh four different clients Okay, let me show you the closer view of the color. Here it is. It's sitting so pretty and so beautiful. And here's the video of our dress. You can wear this on top your fitted dress. You can wear it with a leggings, uh, a singlet in the kind of you know just to touch up that beauty of yours yeah and let's see the inspiration 
versus our outcome. So on the left is the inspiration and on the right you can see our own creation. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.